Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the statute of the law, and the Lord has commanded, Tell the people of Israel to bring you a red heifer without defect, in which there is no blemish, and on which a yoke has never come. And you shall give it to Eleazar the priest, and it shall be taken outside the camp and slaughtered before him. And Eleazar the priest shall take some of its blood with his finger, and sprinkle some of its blood by the front of the tent of meeting seven times. And the heifer shall be burned in his sight. Its skin, its flesh, and its blood with its dung shall be burned. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet yarn, and throw them into the fire, burning the heifer. And the priest shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water. And afterward he may come into the camp. But the priest shall be unclean until evening. The one who burns the heifer shall wash his clothes in water, and bathe his body in water, and shall be unclean until evening. And a man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and deposit them outside the camp in a clean place. And they shall be kept for the water, for impurity, for the congregation of the people of Israel. It is a sin offering. And the one who gathers the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. And this shall be a perpetual statute for the people of Israel and for the stranger who sojourns among them. Whoever touches the dead body of any person shall be unclean seven days. Arakumar. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, said to Zechia, saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Your prayer to me about Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you. She scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion. She wags her head behind you, the daughter of Jerusalem. Whom have you mocked and reviled? Against whom have you raised your voice and lifted your eyes to the heights? Against the Holy One of Israel. By your messengers you have mocked the Lord, and you have said, with my many chariots, I have gone up the heights of the mountain to the far recesses of Lebanon. I felled its tallest cedars, its choicest cypresses. I entered its farthest lodging place, its most fruitful forest. I dug wells and drank foreign waters, and I dried up with the sole of my foot all the streams of Egypt. Have you not heard that I determined it long ago? I planned from days of old what now I bring to pass, that you should turn fortified cities into heaps of ruins, while their inhabitants shorn of strength and are dismayed and confounded, and have become like plants of the field and like tender grass, like grass on the housetops, blighted before it is grown. But I know you're sitting down, and you're going out and coming in, and you're ragging against me, because you have ragged against me, and your complacency has come into my ears. I will put my hook in your nose, and my bit in your mouth, and I will turn you back on the way by which you came. <coughs> this shall be the sign for you. This year, eat what grows of itself, and in the second year, what springs of the same. Then in the third year, sow and reap and plant vineyards and eat their fruit. The prophecy that, the, that Habakkuk the prophet received. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Or cry out to you, violence, but you do not say. Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Just destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict about me. Therefore, the law is paralyzed, and justice never prevails. The wicked have and the righteous, so that justice is perverted. Look at the nations and watch, and utterly and be utterly amazed. For I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you told, and even if you were told. I am raising up the Babylonians, that ruthless and impetuous people, who sweep across the whole earth 
to seize dwelling not their own. They are feared and dreaded people. They are, they are a law to themselves and promote their own honor. Their horses are swifter than leopards, fiercer than wolves at dusk. Their cavalry gallops headlong, their horsemen come from afar. They fly like an eagle swooping to devour. They all come intent on violence. Their hordes advance like a desert wind and gather prisoners like sand. They mock kings and scoff. They, they mock kings and scoff at rulers. They laugh at all fortified cities. By building eastern ramps, they capture them. Then they sweep past the, like the wind and go on. Guilty people whose own strength is their God. Lord, you are not from. Are you not from everlasting? My God, my Holy One, will you never die? Lord, you will never die. Lord, you, Lord, have appointed them to execute judgment. You, my rock, have ordained them to punish.
ഞങ്ങൾ പൗലോസിനെ കുന്നുകളെയോളം എന്ന് ആസ്വദിക്കില്ല എന്ന് കടിൽ ശബ്ദം ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു ആകയാൽ നിങ്ങൾ അവന്റെ കാര്യം അതീവ സൂക്ഷ്മതയോടെ പരിശോധിക്കണം എന്നുള്ള ഭാവത്തിൽ അവനെ നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുക്കൽ താഴെപ്പെട്ട് ഒരുപാട് നയാൽ സംഘവുമായി സഹസ്രാദികളെ അപേക്ഷിപ്പീൻ എന്നാൽ അവൻ സമീപിക്കും മുമ്പേ ഞങ്ങൾ അവനെ ഒടുക്കിക്കളയുവാൻ ഒരുങ്ങിയിരിക്കുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു ഇത് പതിരിപ്പിനെ കുറിച്ചും പൗലൂസിന്റെ പെങ്ങുടെ മകളൊക്കെ മകൻ കേട്ടിട്ടോ എന്ന് കോട്ടയം പൗലൂസിനോട് അറിയിച്ചു I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and break to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God has not God made foolish of the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God the wor- world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of this message preach to preach to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign and Greeks seek, seek after wisdom but we preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling block and to the Greeks foolishness but to those who are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men for you see your calling brethren that not many wise according to the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put the shame to the wise and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put the shame the things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen the things which are not to bring nothing the things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence but of him you are in Christ Jesus who became for us wisdom from God and the righteousness and sanctification and redemption that as it is written he who glorifies let him glory in the lord mark him more ഇത് രക്തത്തിന്റെ വിലയാണ് ഭണ്ഡാരത്തിൽ 
എഴുതുന്നത് വിനിതമല്ല അവർ തമ്മിൽ ആലോചിച്ചേഷം അത് കൊടുത്ത് പരദേശികളെ സംസ്കരിക്കുവാൻ ഒരു കൃഷവന്റെ പറമ്പ് വാങ്ങി ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ആ പറമ്പ് ഇന്ന് വരെയും രക്തനിലം എന്ന് വിളിക്കപ്പെടുന്നു ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കൾ വിലമച്ചതും വിലമതിച്ചതിന്റെ വിലയായ മുപ്പത് വെള്ളിക്കാശ് ഞാൻ എടുത്ത് കർത്താവിനോട് കൽപ്പിച്ച പ്രകാരം കുശവന്റെ പറമ്പിന് കൊടുത്തു എന്ന് പ്രവാചകൻ പറഞ്ഞത് ഇപ്പോൾ നിവർത്തിയായി ലമുറിയോ 